Oliver accidentally broke into the land of little people. He was not only tied up with ropes, even his 200 yards of shoes were locked up. But this is not difficult to defeat him. He got up with full body force, and the wooden stake on the ground pulled up. The surrounding villain was also thrown far away. Gulliver stood up and thought he was dreaming. Not waiting for him to get ready, the villain's commander Edward rode over and put the five centimeters long javelin into Gulliver's shoe. Gulliver wailed in pain. Then the others threw a bunch of hooks hooked Gulliver's buttocks. My goodness, they throw the hooks well. The little guys worked together to make Gulliver fall to the ground and pass out. When he opened his eyes again, he was tied up in the car. When the car entered the city, all the onlookers came together. Gulliver also enjoyed a star treatment to the palace door. With the general gave an order, they put Gulliver up. The king and the princess saw such a strange creature for the first time and thought he was a spy sent from a neighboring country. The next day, Gulliver was taken outside the city to do hard labor. He used his 800-pound body 